if you like what you see. Um, for those of you who are regular viewers, thank you for tuning in again. We really appreciate it. Yes. As you guys can see, we are in the car. Um, we are on our way to the store because the video for today that we have planned requires that we need to go do some shopping. So, the video idea we had, you know how sometimes everyone, not sometimes, everyone has their favorite brand of like stuff they like Quick to example. buy? Quick example, I love Oreos. So, and we all know that there is a knockoff cookie that's very much like Oreos, just cheaper. So that's just like an example. Today we are going to buy those knockoff versions, if we can call it that, or the cheaper alternatives. That sounds better. Yeah. And whoo! <laughs> and then we are going to see. Does it taste like the ones we love and know? Is it worth paying a little bit cheaper for? You know, does it taste? You know, basically, what does it taste like? So we're gonna do a bit of a taste test on these things. Some of them we know. Some of them we've never tried. So. Yeah, we have no idea what to expect, but you're going to find out with us. So we are on our way to the store. We're going to take you with for the shopping process. And um, we hope you guys enjoy this video. So you guys, I just want to tell you something funny. We just ordered some chippies, like slop chips, from this one store before we're heading to spa now. And we just wanted to, <laughs> to tell you guys that you know when you make small talk with someone that works in a shop, right? And then it eventually got to the point where we talked about our move. And he, the guy asked, "Where are you moving to?" And we said, "Brabban." <laughs> And the guy no cap goes you're joking right <laughs> but no we are not joking we are moving to Brackburn yay <laughs> So guys, we are back in the car. We did some shopping now. <laughs> Where are you from Durban now? Uh, I think I'm from Durban, bro. <laughs> but yeah. What? Anyway, you guys, we wanted to show you this. Oh wait, let me just... Can you focus us a bit? Thank you. Look at this pretty can, first of all. Yes, can you Look at your focus. pretty cans. Really? You need a pretty focus, man. Okay. This is Monster Energy. They have a new flavor there's the name I, I excuse this poor quality my phone is playing around I think it's because of the light that keeps changing anyway Mariposa is the name I don't know if this Mariposa. is Mariposa <laughs> no oh, Mariposa. <laughs> this is what it looks like um, it looks to be new because we have never seen it before and stick around for the video later on because even though it's not part of the theme we we've got going for our little challenge today we are going to try it out and tell you guys how it tastes. What's up everyone? Okay, so we are home. Yes. And we have done a bit of shopping as you guys saw on the on the little thing she made. <laughs> um, that uh, you know we've we've bought the 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 cheaper option of a lot of these things. So we're just gonna dive in. They're all right here next to me. We're just gonna dive in, pick one, and kind of review it and tell you guys if it's worth it. So first up, let's go for these cheese puffs. Now, okay. everybody usually buys cheese coals from or that, Simba. Yeah, yeah right. although that, that Simba brand one that you know, but cheese coals is its own thing. And then Simba has those cheese puffs as mm. well that they recently bought out. So this is um, cheese coals is usually about between thirteen and fifteen rand. This was ten rand. And it's it's okay. A lot of the things we're using today is spa brand because here in Nalspreit, where we stay in Mbumalanga, there's like 170 freaking spas in this you town. Guys. Oh, you know, 
On Everywhere. every street corner, at every shopping, there's a spa. Okay, so a lot of these are spa's own brands, which, which is why we bought a lot of them. Which, coincidentally, they were the cheapest with a lot of these options. So, so let's, we, let's see if their cheese puffs are a match for cheese curls and stuff like that. How does it smell? How does it smell? It smells cheesy. It smells like stinky feet. <laughs> which is how most cheese chips smell to me. Okay, this is what right. it looks like. It looks it looks exactly like a cheese coal. Pretty so. much the same. That's very cheesy. Mm. Um that that is very cheesy. Let me try again. That that's damn close. You guys I'm, I'm not gonna that is damn close. The, it, the, the, the taste is almost exactly the same. It's just I think this is just maybe a bit more crispy, if mm. you could say it like that. Not yeah. as soft. But it's very but actually, nice. But I actually prefer the crispiness over the soft. I like crispy stuff. It's very so. nice. So if you wanted a cheaper cheese call, we get the record. I would give this an 8 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. About, I'll, I'll give it about the same. This this is not bad. Mm. This is not bad. That is a yay from yes. us. <laughs> All right. So next... We usually buy Steri Stumpy or Super M or something like that. Now, this is also Spa's brand. It's called Spa. <laughs> Strawberry flavored medium fat milk. So... How much is Steri Stumpy's? Stumpy's! Steri, Steri Stumpy's are usually between 15 and 16 Rand if you buy them. I mean, they, they are expensive, but they are good. And Super M is about 13 to 14 Rand. This one, one was 13 Rand. Okay, so it's about the same price as a Super M. But we all know Steri Stumpy is... With the ultimate little milkshake that we all love yeah. to drink. So this is about two or three rand cheaper. But let's see if the taste holds up. Okay. How does it smell? Probably like strawberry milky. <laughs> my turn, my turn, my turn. Oh, it smells nice. I am surprised by this. I am legit surprised by that. I, I did not expect the amount of flavor that's in that thing is insane. You guys, go buy this when you are at another spa. Do yourself that. They, they have other flavors, but I think strawberry is probably that is, the most popular. That, that blew my mind. Well, I, I, I did not expect the, the amount of flavor that I got from this. I mean, Steri Stumpy is nice. That's why it's the most popular one. But this one... I think it might be a little bit sweeter, which is nicer when, it's, when it comes to a milkshake. You want that strawberry flavor is really. It's, I was about to say it's got a more milkshakey taste than Seri Stumpy does. This is good. I would buy this. This I'm gonna give this one a nine. I'm not gonna even cap. That that is a nine. I honestly think I might switch to this now instead of Seri Stumpy. This, this is, is really how nice good. It is. That wow! Lovely. I'm surprised. Okay, so after milk, you've got to have cookies. <laughs> so. You, there are a lot of different brands of shortbread biscuits. You like eat some more, which is probably the most. Popular. I think that's probably the most famous one. And Maybe then you have nice. yeah, and then you have you know like you've got like your spa brand shortbread, you've got pick and pay brand shortbread, and you've got a lot of different ones. So this is Bowman's shortbread biscuits, and oh, how much was that? And now, just to say that that um, eat some more is like twenty or twenty one rand for, for the same for the, amount for the same amount. This was thirteen rand. Okay. That's either a good thing or a bad thing. We're gonna find out. <laughs> Do they want you to eat this? Here we go. Shortbread biscuits. Oh, that's delicious shortbread. Shortbread for a short-tempered man. And a short girl. <laughs> okay. Okay. So they look like this. They're around with a little, little bee on it. Yeah. It looks. Go. It looks kind of cute. Okay. As Okay. It smells kind of condensed milk. Yeah. Too. Okay. Let's let's try it. It's not bad, but it's not bakers. Buy eat some more. It's not like bakers. no offense to to the people who made this. It's, this is nice. It's it's sweet, you know, and it's it's not. Not nice, it's just bakers is better. Yeah, I think. I'll, honestly, honestly, I'll give this one a six. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll give it a six. I mean, 
if you re- if you are really strapped for cash and you want shortbread it. biscuits, this is this it's is good enjoyable, enough. It's enjoyable, but it's not the best. Baker's Baker's is just better. Okay. <laughs> just just one quick thing again about those cookies they are extremely dry and shortbread i mean usually it's a, a tea time cookie, but, but but if you eat them like that this is way drier than normal shortbread i like my, my tongue stuck to the roof of my mouth i had to drink the rest of that milkshake real quick just to all right. <laughs> so the next item, I am a big fan of Powerade. All right, I I like to buy a Powerade. Like when I'm uh, having a busy day and I just want to drink something when I'm on the go, I usually go for Powerade. So at the fridges, we saw this. Brand's name is Thirsty, and it's an electrolyte fuel, and it's also Nachi flavored, like um like Powerade makes, for way cheaper. And I mean, way How much is cheaper. Powerade usually like fourteen fifty. Yeah, about for for the same size. And this was eight rand. So Okay, hopefully hopefully it doesn't disappoint. Yeah. Mm. I don't like the cap. Yeah, it's the, in the way. Yeah, the cap's kind of in the way. Take take another sip. Trust me. Electrolyte take, fuel. So take, it's good if you're exercising take, and take, stuff. Take another sip. It it's good. You can you can taste that it's Nachi flavored. It's got I, a weird aftertaste. For I, me. I I just feel that personally, like Power Aid has a has a more pungent taste than this does. This almost tastes slightly watered down. Yeah, it's it's it's. it's I was about to say it's like a watered down version of Power Aid. Hmm. So I don't think I'll buy it again. So this, I'm going to give it a five. I'm sorry. It's just it's it's not that good. But. If, like we said, these are also options for if maybe you want to spare a few rand here yeah. and there. I mean, you can definitely taste the nachi in this. You, you can taste and what it is. And they have other flavors too. But yeah, maybe if, maybe some of the other flavors are better than this. We just chose nachi because, you know. I think that's the most popular with everyone. Yeah. It's so, always that. Yeah. But yeah, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't really like that. Okay, so a Ooh. lot of people, if you're like me, I buy Nutella. And I don't spread it on anything. You eat it just like I grab that. a spoon <laughs> and I dig in. Mm-hmm. All right. So Nutella is very expensive. We all know that. But it's um, it's an amazing spread. So Nutella is about 50 to 60 bucks depending on where you buy it. So this is Squillows, also Spa's brand. This was 40 Rand. So it's about a, 20, a 10 to 20 Rand different. It smells the same. Yeah, it's very chocolatey. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, so she's gonna go first this time. The, Let's see. The texture is different. It's not as soft as Nutella. It's a bit more solid. Mm-hmm. That is nice. <laughs> mm. Slightly different texture. More smooth almost. That's really nice. Or am I imagining this? Now yeah, that is nice. Buy Nutella. No, I like this. Okay, to, to me, you know, you know what this is like. You know when you buy Cadbury, and then you oh. buy like Nestle or a cheaper known oh, chocolate, you know, or something, and you can definitely taste the difference. This is exactly like that. This, this tastes like a cheaper version of Nutella, which is basically what it is, but. Nutella's better. Oh, oh, this isn't bad. I'm, I'm going to give this, for the for the nice and chocolatey taste that it does have, I'll give it a 7, mm. but Nutella is better. I also think Nutella is better, but I would give this an 8 as like a, a, a substitute for Nutella. Mm. I really like this. It's, it's slightly sweeter, I think, than Nutella. Nutella is maybe, it's not bitter, and it, but it's a Nutella bit more also has bitter. that nutty texture in it that this doesn't have. Yeah. Yeah. This is more, but let me just see, with hazelnuts. So there, there, there you go. Nutella is also a hazelnut chocolate. This as well, but this doesn't taste like hazelnut at all. It's yeah. just chocolate. Yeah. Maybe that's why I like it so much. <laughs> Let's go for... Okay, we know this already. Um, This is Kingsley Cola. This we've had for a day. <laughs> and this is 
it's it's a good alternative to coke especially if you know now that after lockdown the booze shops are open again and you're like me and you like a brandy and coke or a whiskey and coke or something this is a good replacement for coke in there because this is one of those colas that is extremely close to the original mm -hmm. thing and it tastes really nice i mean on its own it's it's then you can taste it's a cola but still it's good it's better than a lot of these other cola brands out there trying to you know mimic the original yeah, and while he's taking a sip of that, you guys know Coca-Cola, a two liter. This is also a two liter. Costs twenty five rand for a, for a Coca-Cola. This one, this Sorry. specific one, where I buy it from, is eleven rand. And it should be between ten and maybe thirteen rand. Yeah, there are some shops it. here that are a bit more expensive for the cold drinks. The the most that I've paid for a King's Dakota was thirteen rand and some cents. And it's good. It's it's a very good alternative. Mm. For for a, a cola that isn't from the Coca-Cola company, I would probably give this one a 7. Me too. I mean, if you're very fussy about your Coke, then you might not like it. But mm. if you're willing to give something else a shot, then that is probably the best... Son of a bitch just growled at me! <laughs> then that is probably... My foot... He literally just went like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... I like Jelly Babies, mm -hmm. and usually people go for Maynard's, which is my favorite brand as well. I'm not going to lie. I like their wine gums. I like their Jelly Babies. I like most of the stuff that they make, but they are expensive. I mean, it's like 30 to 40 Rand for like a packet of Jelly Babies most of the time. And this one is 19. Okay. So, so and it's again, it's Spa's brand of Jelly Babies. I wonder. Ooh, it smells sweet. Mm -hmm. So I've got two red ones and a yellow one. Okay, let's both try a red one. Yeah. Oh, the little man looks a lot more detailed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. There's a big taste difference. And the texture difference. These are a lot harder than the, I want to say the originals. But the flavor is not bad. It's nice. It's a lot more chewy. Mm. I mean, Jelly Babies are chewy to begin with, but this is even more chewy. But the flavor... Mmm, the yellow one isn't bad. Wow. Okay, okay. There's a yellow one. Yeah. Okay, but... No, this is a lighter one than the one I had. Here you go. No. But there it is. That's the yellow one I tried. We'll try we'll try them all and let you guys know. This is a lighter yellow one than the one I had. Not bad. And this is like pineapple. Mmm. Mm. That one's nice. What is it? I think it's lemon. I presume. You like your citrus stuff. <laughs> that is good. I like that. Mm. And then we just need to try a green and an orange one as well. So I'm by the one you just had. Oh, that's definitely lemon. Yeah. It's good. That's good. I like that. And a, a little fun fact. With stuff like this and like wine gums, Matthew always likes the yellow and green ones, which are lemon or lime. And I like the red and purple ones, which are usually like your berry flavors. We're always the opposite for that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here's the orange one. Mm. Can you try the orange one? Again, not bad. The flavors on these are, are good. Yeah. The flavor is really not bad. Okay, my favorite. Let's hope I still like green. Mm. Here I go. Again on my own. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, oh. even though these are a little bit more chewier, I think they're a good alternative. I'll, I'll give these an 8. I but think... The, 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 the flavor profile is nice. I think... For the flavor, I'll give it an 8. For the texture, I'll give it a 6. Yeah, same. So, if you're not into the... If you like Jelly Babies of Maynard's texture, then you probably won't like this. But if you don't mind, but you want better flavor, then this this is a really That's good option. Alright, so the last thing we're going to try... Uh, at, on our way out, we actually saw a new monster on the market. Yeah. Um, it's the one Cindy showed you in the car. There it is. What's the name again? Um, Mariposa. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> that, yeah, let's, let's try it so and see. So this is just like a little bonus feature. 
Whoa, damn, that's fruity. Fruity? Yo. Me first? Yeah. Oh, it that smells, smells nice. nice. It smells amazing. That's peach and apricot. You think? I was that, also that must thinking be peach. about that. Peach and nectarine. Ah. Oh, you can definitely taste that peach. It's very nice. I'm not usually a fan of like peach and apricot flavors, but this is freaking amazing. This tastes blended fruit. Mm. Yeah, it, it's very nice. If you're into like... There's also stuff. peach in here. It, it says that at the bottom. Peach, apple, peach, and other fruits. So there's an apple and peach flavor, but this is good. Yeah, it's nice. It's not my favorite monster. There are others I like more, but this is nice. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Mm. So if you guys haven't tried this new flavor yet and you, you weren't it's sure, refreshing. go for it. Good I'll flavor. give it an 8. Yeah, I'll give it an 8 as well. Okay, so there you guys go. Um, so we hope you enjoyed the video for mm -hmm. this week because we were we were thinking about doing something new and you know helping you guys maybe save money. Mm -hmm. So, ooh, ooh that monster came back to bite you. me in the ass. Excuse me. <laughs> um, but you know, it's we hope you guys maybe found some things that you'd like to try. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, maybe we'll do a, another one like this. You know, along the along the line somewhere because um, I always I like to save money where I can you know because uh, with things the way they are at the moment you know we could all use a bit of extra money at the end of the day so yeah. we hope you guys enjoyed this please go follow our social media links and show us some love there we'd really yeah. appreciate that if you guys helped us out there and we will see you guys next week with another awesome video bye, bye.